The following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Boston Whaler's Conquest line has successfully bridged the gap between an effective fishing machine and a comfortable cruising platform that can handle offshore conditions. Today, we take a look at the features of one of these crossover models, the all-new 285 Conquest. Let's begin as we take a look at the features at the bow. For Boatest.com, I'm Captain Steve. The foredeck is all covered in non-skid and there's an option for putting a cushioned pad here to make the entire foredeck into a sun lounge. I like that Boston Whaler brought the windshield all the way up to integrate with the hardtop, thus eliminating any need for isinglass between the windshield and the overhead. At the top of the windshield is an electrically actuated vent that does a remarkable job of scooping air into the helm deck. At the aft edge of the hardtop are LED spreader lights and the supports have rocket launchers attached. Transitioning to the cockpit is safe thanks to the 15 and a half inch space between the rails and the cabin sides, in addition to the grab handles running along the hardtop, the aft ladder supports, and a step leading to the cockpit. Water, however, will not have such an easy trip into the cockpit, as the side deck is molded to channel water that comes over the bow, right back over the side. The starboard side transom door's lower lip is 9 inches up from the main deck and leads to a modest swim platform with a recessed 3-step reboarding ladder and stainless grab handle. A standard transom shower is plumbed to a 30-gallon freshwater tank. The wide-open cockpit measures 54 square feet and can be configured for cruising or fishing. The fishing amenities start with this transom-mounted live well. The acrylic lid is gasketed all the way around. There are electrical connections under the gunnels for your downriggers and at the bottom of the rod storage racks are tow rails to give you a little more security when fighting the fish. There are two sizable fish boxes to either side of the cockpit, both with hatches that are Divinacell cord for lightweight, gasketed all the way around and supported by gas assist struts. Now let's look at some of the cruising features. Safety is of course a concern for Boston Whaler and the bolsters surrounding the cockpit start out at 21 and a half inches and top out at 28 inches. All the way at the stern is a standard flip out bench seat that I found very easy to deploy. There's an option for adding a second flip out bench seat under the port side bulwarks which will turn the entire cockpit into a comfortable gathering area. You can also add a cockpit table with a flexi teak top for cockpit dining. Forward is a sink with a pull out sprayer. There's a conveniently located grab handle and storage is underneath. This storage area can be optioned out for a cockpit refrigerator. Stepping up to the helm deck, to the port side is an improvement over the regular lounge seating that is usually seen on express cruisers. Here we have opposing seating that can accommodate a filler cushion to convert into a lounge. Additionally, the aft seat has a seat back on a slide that allows it to convert to an aft facing seat with a pull out step just below. This not only makes a great addition to the cockpit seating, but can serve as a great place to watch the lines. Now let's take a look down below. Immediately to port is a modest galley with the usual amenities of microwave, single burner stove, sink and refrigerator. Natural light comes in through hull side port lights and an overhead skylight. The ship's electrical panel is located right next to the microwave. Just abaft is a mid-berth measuring 4 feet by 6 feet with a variable geometry overhead running from 1 foot 9 inch to 2 foot 5 inch and topping out at 4 feet at the entry. There's a leather headboard with storage just behind. Our test boat is fitted with the optional cabin comfort package that includes a comforter, sheets, pillowcases and a privacy curtain. Forward is a U-shaped settee with rod storage overhead and notice how the rod holders flip out of the way when not in use. In the center of the settee is a dinette table with extendable leaf. In the folded position, the leaf support doubles as a stainless grab handle. This entire area converts to a berth quite easily by lowering the table, extending the table, and sliding the cushions towards the center. On the aft bulkhead are flip down garment hooks. To starboard is a wet head that, while modest, was roomy enough to serve its purpose. It's completely fiberglass lined with plenty of storage, and Boston Whaler went with a vacuum flush toilet as standard. As you can see, the 285 Conquest will serve nicely whether your plans take you to the middle grounds with a bunch of guys, a distant overnight with a family, or entertaining your friends on a day cruise. And that's my full features walkthrough of the 285 Conquest by Boston Whaler. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.